Hi friends, welcome to Spinning Tales. My name is Miss Anastasia and we are with NOR Neighborhood Place. This is Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy is wearing a mask because we are social distancing in the classroom. Today we will be reading a book called Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug by Jonathan Stutzman. I have tiny arms. It is very difficult to hug with tiny arms. Each day I am growing taller, but my arms are still tiny. Hugging almost seems impossible for a Rex as tiny as me, but I will try anyway. Pointy needs me. Where is my father? I will ask him for advice. Hello, father. This is his dad. Rexes are thinkers, not huggers. Perhaps instead of hugs, mathematics might be the answer to your problem. Pointy doesn't like math. Math will only make Pointy feel worse. Hello, Auntie Junip. I have a problem. I must learn how to hug, but my arms are too tiny. I have found that balance is the key to every problem. Balance and freshly squeezed cucumber juice. Ew, that's disgusting. I will ask my mom for help instead. I have fallen and now I am lost. I do not think I will find my mom in here. Hello, mother. So here's his mommy. It's okay if you can't hug, Tiny. You are good at many other things. You are kind and creative and braver than most. You are tiny, but your heart is big. I can't hug with my heart, mother. I must learn to hug with my arms. Hello, sister. Hello, brother. Please help me. Hugging is very difficult. We would love to help Tiny. To do the impossible, you must plan and practice. Practice, practice, practice. Thank you, Trixie and Rari. That is good advice. I will plan my strategy. I will get stronger and I will practice very hard. I will practice my hugs on everything. Oh my goodness, look. He went to hug the ice cream cone and got all messy. Um, I will not practice on that anymore. Uh-oh, we don't want to hug a cactus. I am almost ready. I will practice one more time. When I am done, I will find my friend. This tree is very big, like pointy. I will hug it. This is not a tree. I made a mistake. Help! From up here, everything looks tiny like me. I could hug anything I wanted. Now I am falling. I should not have let go. Now I will never find Pointy. <gasps> Hello, Pointy. Hello, Tiny. Look, he landed on me. I'm here to make you feel better. I have practiced very hard and hugged many things. My arms are still tiny and my hugs are still tiny, but I will do my very best because you are my very best friend. Thank you, Tiny. That was the biggest hug ever. So cute. Now for our project of the day, we will be making a hand print dinosaur. So you guys will need for this project, a piece of green paper, purple paper, and pink paper. You can also use any other colors you guys have at home. These are just the ones that I wanted for my dinosaur. You will need a black marker, a pencil or pen for tracing, a glue stick, and a pair of scissors. So for our first step, you will take the green paper, Place your hand on the green paper and trace around your hand. You can have one of your parents help you with this as well. After you cut it out, it should come out looking like this. Mine's a little bit big because it's a grown up hand, but yours will be a little bit smaller. The next step is to trace the face shape of the dinosaur onto a pink piece of paper. Miss Kathy has one there. So you're gonna make sure the top of the face is a little bit skinnier than the bottom. The bottom comes out and it's rounded so you can see their little cheeks. The next piece is going to be the nose and mouth, the horn, and the big horns on the top of their head. So you're gonna trace those onto purple or whatever color you choose for those details. You will also trace two oval shapes onto white paper for the dinosaur's eyeballs. So the first step, you're gonna take the hand that you have cut out and traced and the front of their face, and you're gonna glue them together. So as you're gluing, you're gonna put the small part of the dinosaur face onto the middle of the palm. So in this area, and the big part of the face is going to be towards the bottom. 
While I'm gluing this together, Miss Kathy is cutting out our horns, our nose, and our other details. So the pink is gonna overhang the bottom of the dinosaur's face. The next step, you're going to glue on the horns. So these are the little twisty horns that go on the top of his head. You can print a printable out online if you want to look for one, or you can just freehand them, draw whatever kind of horns that you guys want. You're gonna glue them to the top of your dinosaur face. Then we're going to add the two eyes to the middle of the face. So I put them in the middle of the dinosaur face. We're going to glue the eyeballs on. In the middle of the eyes is gonna be the little tiny horn. So this is gonna go right here in between the two eyeballs. So it will look like this. The third horn will be in the middle. And then the mouth and nose is going to be at the bottom of the dinosaur's face. Now you'll just use a marker to add details. We're going to add two pupils onto the eyeball. So you put them kind of towards the middle. So you'll see it's a little bit over to the side, but you guys can decorate it however you want to. So for mine, that's how I did the eyes. And then on the mouth, you're going to have two little nostrils and a small little smile. So this is what it'll look like when you're done. I hope you have an awesome spinning tails today and I'll see you next time.